Good morning. I thought I'd bring you out to my garden and just show you a little area that you might be able to do for yourself in your own garden to grow veg and stuff. I put these two boxes, this one and two, in during lockdown and um, I've continued to grow things here because it's quite useful just to come out and just chop some, you know, get some radishes, some salad and things like that. And I've also got my tomatoes here because last year during the summer I actually my tomatoes all got blight at the allotment so I thought I'd try some tomatoes at home and then some tomatoes at the allotment so this is the array I'm just going to give you a little tour but if you haven't got a garden this is ideal this is actually on gravel so this is the gravel the pea gravel so I just cleared the gravel and got down to the bare soil and then put the boxes down these are boxes that I had at the allotment but I brought them here I've just painted them just to make them a bit more interesting and match the doors and everything so I've got a few things growing I don't know if they're all going to be successful but I'll give them a whirl so these are three cucumber plants they're probably um, these pots are probably too small for them but we'll see how it goes we've got three three cucumbers we've got some um, beetroot growing there that I planted from seed and some chilies in there and various other peppers and stuff, some radishes growing. I've got one, two, three tomatoes. This one here is a beefsteak tomato and it's got quite weird leaves. It's an Italian um, variety, so I'm quite excited about that. They're quite big tomatoes. And the other ones are just the basic, um, what they're called, money maker, I think they are. And then we've got one, two, well, we've got one and two, three um, tomatoes here again this is one of the Italian varieties here I've got a um, cucumelon now these grow like a little cucumber and they taste of lime lime and cucumber so I'm quite excited I've never grown those before I've made like a little trellis with old bits of string and it should hopefully start to go up there but this one decides to go off on its own little path so I keep putting it on this string and hoping it will stay there no it's not going to do it <laughs> anyway so that's that box and then this box is a bit of an entanglement <laughs> i've got an experiment going on here <laughs> i've got a little bit of um, calendula i'm not going to get rid of that because it makes lovely flowers and i use that in my um, oils to make like um, a nice facial oil it's very healing oh sorry there's a, a helicopter going over so just pause for a second um got some all random beetroot here and some spring onions in the background this thing here <laughs> Is a radish and I let it go to seed because there's a lady I follow on YouTube that's um, she's actually says to, to leave them and they'll go to seed and they make little tiny little seed heads I don't know if you can see this one here tiny little seed heads that grow a bit bigger and they're almost they come like a really spicy radish um, and you can eat them so I thought you know what give it a whirl so that's one thing I've, I've got going but the trouble is it is kind of invasive on my, my um, box here <laughs> so here I've got some some lettuces growing there amongst all the radishes and then here I've got some um, this is uh, ro rocket wild rocket and I've got some um, uh, this is parsley it's a little bit oh, oops, I can find here I'm gonna take this up later we've got a kale plant a couple of kale plants and this is coriander seeds so there you go. So on oh, there's a couple of little lettuces there as well. So you see how much veg I've got growing in this box. I've also at the back here, I've just got some sage um, and a weed. Take that out. <laughs> sage, I've got chives. There's a bit of lavender there. And they're raspberries at the back. They are just, I'm just rooting those to take them to the allotment. But you see how much food I've got in this small little area. So if you've just got a tiny little back garden, I know a few people um, on Facebook, they post their tiny little gardens and how much food they grow. Um, so there you go. That's a little view of it. So it's not taking up much space, even if you just had one box or just a few pots or even just a little tiny window box. How amazing that would be in a few months, how much food you would get off that small area. Happy growing. I'll speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye.